Speculation is mounting as to whether President Biden will in fact seek a second term. But if he doesn't, what alternatives do Democrats have? Speculation about President Biden's future has risen again after a New York Times Siena College poll. That poll found that 64% of Democrats would prefer a different standard bearer in 2024. Only 26% of the party's voters wanted President Biden to be the nominee. So if he doesn't run, what are the possible alternatives? Who would be the top candidates? Well, one name that comes forward, obviously, is Vice President Harris. But there are a couple of problems with that. Her approval ratings are not appreciably better than those of the president. And she has had a number of stumbles, particularly early in her vice presidency. Then another name that is often mentioned is that of Pete Buttigieg, the transportation secretary. Buttigieg, like Harris, ran in 2020, and he impressed a lot of people and did better than most people expected. But Buttigieg too would face some difficulties, not least a difficulty of prejudice. If he were elected, he would be the first openly gay president in the nation's history. Beyond that, there are a number of other 2020 candidates who might be persuaded to take another tilt at the White House. Back in April, an aide to Bernie Sanders noted that the senator from Vermont had not ruled out another White House bid, though he said he would only run if Biden did not. Another popular figure on the left, Senator Elizabeth Warren, might also run. And so too, from a more centrist perspective, could Senator Amy Klobuchar. One more figure that's attracting a lot of speculation is California Governor Gavin Newsom. Newsom raised a lot of eyebrows over the July 4th holiday when he booked TV ads in Florida. Those ads were taking jabs at Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. But it wasn't completely obvious why Newsom would run such an ad on the other side of the country from his home state, unless it's to keep his name in the 2024 frame. Beyond that, there are more controversial and exciting figures who could potentially run, even though they'd be longer shot. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez from New York is really an obvious example of this. She's very charismatic, she's very young, and she has a massive social media following. But could a democratic socialist win the nomination in the first place? And could she be electable nationwide, even if she did so? Again, beyond that, there are candidates who are almost bordering on a fantasy status. The most obvious instance of that is former First Lady Michelle Obama. Mrs. Obama would unquestionably be a formidable candidate, but she has for a long time said that she has no interest at all in electoral politics. One other name that's in the mix is that of Hillary Clinton, the 2016 nominee, the former Secretary of State. But it's very difficult to see a real appetite for a candidate who lost to Trump and years before that lost a nomination battle with future President Obama. So there's really no clear alternative for the Democrats, and that might turn out to be a strong card for President Biden.